Welcome to STAR testing. STAR is an adaptive test set up in a way where if more than one response is incorrect, the questions will adjust and get easier. If a student continues to answer questions correctly, the test will adjust and become more challenging. If they work alone, staff will have accurate information so we can best meet student needs. Before testing, there are a few things you'll wanna make sure you are ready for before you begin. The testing space is very important. Please provide a quiet place free from distractions and help your child log in for the test. Make sure your iPad is fully charged. Close all the apps on your iPad. Double click on the home button and swipe up to close apps out. Also, make sure all the Safari tabs are closed. Open your Safari app and close the tabs by clicking the two squares button in the top right of the Safari screen, then the X at the top left of each tab. Make sure your iPad lays flat during the test. Do not change the direction of your iPad while testing. In this section, we are going to cover information for learners taking STAR early literacy. This is for grades K-1. Fast forward to find more information on STAR reading or STAR math. You will need your iPad and headphones for this test. If you do not hear the test, make sure the volume is turned up on your iPad and that your headphones are plugged all the way in and working properly. Find this app on your iPad. It is white and looks like a star. When you open your app, select I'm a student. Students will then log in using their five number username and their three letter password. If you don't remember your username or password, please contact your teacher. Then you'll select your test, which is star early literacy. Practice, before you take the test, you may have a training session or practice questions. This will help guide students with using the different tools of the test. Choosing your answer is easy. Each question has three possible answers. Choose the one that you think is the correct answer to the question. You can change your answer choice before you enter it. Tap your answer choice. A box will appear around the answer you have chosen. This does not mean you have chosen the correct answer. When you are certain about your choice, enter your answer by tapping next. After you have entered your answer to the question, the next question will appear on the screen. If you don't see the next button for whatever reason, make sure you have not accidentally zoomed in to the picture. You can fix this by pinching it back to the original size. You will start with practice questions. The practice questions will look just like the real test, but you will only have one answer to choose. If you see this message during the practice questions, ask an adult for help. Your teacher or your helper will know what to do. And families, please watch the student do these practice questions again by clicking on the map. When you finish answering the practice questions, you will see this message. Relax and get ready. The test will start and the first question will come soon. Adults present can now let the student answer questions independently and only support with technical problems. This is what the test questions look like. Listen to the question as it is read out loud to you. To hear the question again, tap the listen button in the top right. If you see a picture of a clock at the top of the screen, time is almost up for the question. If you do not choose an answer in time, the test will move on to the next question. In this section, we are going to cover information for learners taking STAR reading. This section is only for second to fifth grade students. Fast forward to find out more information on STAR math. For this test, you will need your iPad and headphones. If you do not hear the test, make sure the volume is up and that your headphones are plugged in and working properly. 
you'll need to find this app on your iPad. It is white and looks like a star. When you open the app, make sure you select, I'm a student. Students will log into their test using their five number username and three letter password. If you cannot remember your username or password, please contact your teacher. Select the star reading test. After the practice, you will see one of these messages. If you see the message on the left that practice is complete and you need to ask a monitor for help, you will need to let your teacher know. If you see the message on the right, great job on the practice, let's go to test. You can go on and begin your test. Star reading has 34 questions. Fill in the blank questions have a sentence with a word missing. There will be a list of three or four words that could fit in the blank. Your job is to choose the word that best completes the sentence. Short answer questions have a text passage at the top, followed by a question about the passage. There will be a list of three or four possible answers. Choose the best answer to the question. If a clock appears at the top, time is almost up on the question. Choose your answer quickly. If you don't choose an answer in time, you will see a message that says time is up for that question. The next question will come up in a few seconds, so be ready. In this section, we are going to cover information for learners taking star math. This is for grades one through five only. Rewind this video to find more information on star reading or star early literacy. You will need your iPad, headphones, as well as paper and pencil for this test. Paper and pencil will be helpful for solving math problems. If you do not hear the test, make sure the volume is turned up and that your headphones are plugged in and working. Find this app on your iPad. It's white and looks like a star. When you open up the app, select I'm a student. Students will log in using their five number username and three letter password. If you can't remember your username or password, please contact your teacher. Then you'll select the star math test. Practice. You will see three practice questions. These questions are important, so try your best. After the practice, you will see one of these two messages. If you see the message on the left, practice is complete, please ask the monitor for help. You will need to let your teacher know. If you see the message on the right, great job on the practice, let's go to the test. That means you can go on to your test. Star Math has 34 questions. Some questions will have the option not given as an answer choice. This means that the correct answer is not a choice. Some algebra and geometry questions will have an on-screen calculator and an on-screen formula reference sheet that you can use to answer the questions. You can click or tap the calculator buttons or press the keys on the keyboard to use the calculator. Use the scroll bar on the formula reference sheet to move up and down within it. When you tap on an answer, a blue highlight will appear around it. This does not mean it's the correct answer. It just means it's the answer you selected. Once you select your answer, click next to go on to the next question. For math, you can listen to the questions. If you don't want sound, you can always mute your iPad. If you see the picture of a clock appear at the top of the screen, time is almost up for the question. If you do not choose an answer in time, the test will move on to the next question, so be ready. Support is available. During your student's testing time, your teacher will be available to help on their personal Zoom meeting link. You can also call your school's front office and they will direct you to immediate support. So take a deep breath and hang in there. You got this. We wish you the best of luck.